Hello, everybody. I hope that you all are doing well. I hope that your families are doing well. I hope that you all are doing everything that you can to stay safe and protected during this time. I want to remind you once again that we are getting to the other side of this thing. And when we get to the other side, we're going to be so much more stronger and powerful and more wiser than we were when we went in. I wanted to come on to present to you a couple of things that I think we really will need to keep in mind and consider as we are entering into the beginning stages of reopening up things as our lives slowly resume back to the normal pattern of our way of functioning and the way we used to do things. And again, it's not gonna be the normal that we left. It's gonna be a new normal, but things are slowly starting to open back up, at least here in the United States and at least here in Tulsa. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know where your state or the region or the nation you're living in, where they are as far as the reopening process goes. Because I'm just really interested to see how everyone else and other nations and other states, how they're handling the reopening process, as it were. But as we are moving into things reopening back up, I believe that there is something very significant awaiting each and every last one of us. And in light of this thing that is going to uh, impact each and every one of us, there are a couple of things that I want us to consider. But before I get into that, please be sure to like this video if you like it. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you got out of the video. If you agree and if you disagree with the content, that's cool too. I welcome any and all comments. I only ask that you present your disagreements in a respectful, diplomatic honorable manner because this tribe is a tribe of honorable diplomatic and respectful people so even your disagreements can be presented i welcome them all they must be presented with respect do unto others as you would have them do unto you if you like the video be sure to share the video with people that you know could really use the content because there are a lot of people that are really hurting out there and there are a lot of people that need to be informed about things that are coming down the pipeline that will be really important for them as they are navigating through this new norm. Be sure to click the bell button so you know when I have new videos coming out. If you're subscribed to the channel, if you're not, I appreciate if you would subscribe to this channel. Again, not for vanity metrics here. It is for the purpose and the intention of getting this message out to more people. Please and thank you. Now, for each and every one of us, as things are starting to open back up, I want you to keep this in mind as things do. As things start opening back up for us individually and in our nations, our cities, our states, for each and every one of our lives, there is a turn coming. For each and every one of us, there is a significant turn of events coming. What do I mean when I say that? Now, you know how when you're on a highway, and for me, I had to follow my GPS to get anywhere, practically. And I mean that literally. I, one, I hate to drive which is really ironic because I do all my talks and whatnot in the car. But I really hate to drive. I like to be in the car. I like to be driven. I hate driving. And I'm here in beautiful, beautiful Tulsa, Oklahoma for a very short period of time, believing that time is shortly coming to a quick end in a very short period of time. But for right now, I'm in Tulsa that has all these weird, very unusual, windy, twisty, turny roads. And they're always doing construction on those windy, twisty, turning roads. And the construction is never ending and doesn't seem to make anything any better. I don't know why they're doing that. That's a form of judgment. Gotta have to repent for that later. Nevertheless, I digress. I have to use a GPS for getting around practically anywhere in this blessed state. And so if you're using your GPS and you're going down a particular highway for five miles, 10 miles, six miles, 30 miles, you come to a point in the journey, if you're getting somewhere, where the highway that you're going on is no longer the highway that you need to be staying on. Did you catch that? The highway that you've been going on, and it was right that you were going on that particular highway, is no longer the highway that you need to be staying on. Why is that? Because uh, you're coming to a turn, meaning you're coming to a point in the journey to get to the destination that you want to get to, where you're going to have to exit off of the road that you're on and onto a new road to get you where you need to be. Here is what I believe very, very strongly, which is why I wanted to come on here and present this to you judge it see how it resonates with your heart if it doesn't bear witness trash it chuck it throw it away won't be offended but to me i believe we are all coming to a moment in time in the days that are ahead of us where the track our lives were on before this whole covid 19 pandemic quarantine event hit where our lives our businesses our careers our ministries our companies, where we were in our writing careers, our relationships, or the way we were raising children, whole nine yards, everything was going down a particular highway and that was right. And that was good. That was proper for where we were. As things open back up, there is a new normal 
that each and every one of us are coming into. And in that new normal, there are turns, very significant turns that we're going to have to make in order to get to the place of destiny that God has for each and every last one of us. And that can look a myriad of different ways, changing states, changing locations, changing jobs, quitting jobs, starting businesses, launching the website, writing the book, getting the book published, taking steps out of your comfort zone, actually beginning to work out, uh, leaving relationships that are no longer serving you, telling the truth and the whole truth on a new level of truth and awareness that you didn't do before this whole quarantine, quarantine thing started. Whatever it looks like for you, this I know to be true. And I believe with all my heart, there are significant turns coming. It's going to be very important for us to be very mindful in the times that we're coming into of when it's time for us to actually take those turns. Because here's the thing, I can be driving on that highway in these windy, twisty, turny roads here in Tulsa, and my GPS sending me notifications that it's time to get off this road and get onto another road. But if I don't take those instructions seriously, if I'm not paying attention to those instructions, which tends to happen to me a lot, and I miss my turn, it's going to do two things. It's going to delay me and it's going to hinder my ability to get where I'm supposed to go. There are turns awaiting each and every one of us in the time that we're coming into and in this new normal that awaits us. But if we are not attentive, if we are not watchful, if we're not spiritually sensitive and we miss those terms, it's going to result in delay and it's going to hinder us from getting to where we're supposed to be. And so you don't wanna do that. So in light of that, there are there is something that I really want you to release your faith for where the terms that are coming in your life and my life are concerned. I need you to develop a newfound confidence in the fact that the Holy Spirit who lives in you, if you're born again and Jesus is your Lord and Savior, if you are born again, the Holy Spirit lives on the inside of you and he is called, according to the book of Isaiah chapter six, I believe, and John chapter 16, verse 13 through 15, the Holy Spirit is the spirit of counsel and wisdom. The Holy Ghost, let's say it one more time. He is known one of, the, one of the names he goes by is he is the spirit of counsel and wisdom. What does that mean? Let's talk about wisdom for a minute. Wisdom is knowing what to do, how to do it, and when to do it. Wisdom is knowing what to do, how to do it, and when to do it. Why is that important? Because the life that we are heading into in this new normal and the turns that each and every one of us, the turns of change and adjustment and transition that each and every one of us are going to have to make in the time that we're coming into, we're gonna to have to know what those turns are, we're gonna to have to know how to make those turns, and we're gonna to need to know when to do, make those turns. Here's the thing, there, there, are, there are these roads here in Tulsa that are very special in that even it'll even confuse the GPS at times because it'll say 0.2 miles before a turn and you'll think that you're coming to that turn, but it's not the turn you're coming up to. It is like a turn that is maybe a half a mile before that one, but they are so close and they're so similar. You think it's the same and then you take that turn and you wind up adding 15 minutes more time to your traveling to get to where you're supposed to go. Timing is important. It's not just important for you to know what the turn is and it's not just important for you to know how to make the turn, you also must know when to make the turn or you're gonna cause yourself a lot of problems. The Holy Ghost is the spirit of wisdom for the turns that you're going to have to take. Let me tell you, you don't have to believe me, but I believe this with every fiber of my being. There are turns coming for each and every one of us that are, that's, that's here. Every one of us in life, and especially if you're watching this right now, there's a turn coming. There's a turn that you're gonna to have to make in your life to get to the next place, the next phase of destiny and purpose that is awaiting you. And in order for you to take that turn successfully and on time, you're going to have to release your faith and be very intentional in your believing and looking to the Holy Ghost as a spirit of wisdom, trusting that he is going to get your attention to know what that turn is, how to make that turn and when to make the turn. Now, the Holy Ghost is also known as a spirit of counsel. What is counsel? A counselor is a person that gives you information that you need pertinent 
to the situation that you are facing in the moment. A counselor is a person that gives you information that you need to be successful in an endeavor, in a relationship, in a crisis that you're moving through, in a challenge that you're facing, in something that you need skill in or further insight concerning or, or, or awareness about. That's what a counselor does. The Holy Ghost is the spirit of counsel. He's not going to just show you what to do, how to do, and when to do. He is going to give you the step-by-step -step process and support that you need to make these appropriate turns for the time that you are coming in and the new normal that you are facing. The new normal that we're coming into are going to have new turns in them that you are going to have to take and take correctly and take at the right time. And I want you to be prepared. And the best way to be prepared, John chapter 16, verse 13 through 15. I want you to write that reference down and I want you to read it. And if you can, read it in multiple translations. It will do nothing but be of service to you if you do that. The Holy Ghost, he will show you things to come. He will lead and guide you into all the truth. He will take what the Father knows and what the Son knows. He'll transmit it to you and he will show you things to come because there is a turn coming for your life. There's a change coming for your life. Holy Ghost knows exactly what that is. He knows how how you need to maneuver correctly where that turn is concerned. And he is more than able and willing and desirous to show you how to do so. So you're going to have to give him some time so he can give you this information because you've got to have it. It's not enough to know. Now, my spiritual mother said this and I'm after this, I'm done. I remember I mention her all the time. Y'all know I mention her all the time. It is not a mistake. It is not an oversight. I make no apologies for it because my spiritual mother is just that. And you tend to talk about your mothers a lot and your spiritual mothers a lot and your spiritual fathers a lot if they've made a difference in your life because you just tend to do that. At least I do. Anyway, I remember years ago, I was listening to a recording where she was ministering to several people by the spirit in like personal prophecy. For those of you who don't know what that is, long story short, if you want a, a video about what a prophet is and what all that kind of stuff is, let me know in the comments below and I will make a video about that. But nevertheless, I digress. I was, I was um, listening to this recording where she was ministering to several people by the spirit and she was ministering to this one man and she said to this man, because she was seeing his life in the spirit and the way the Holy Ghost was showing it to her, she said to him, you are in the apex of, an, of a hairpin turn. I mean, a really narrow turn, like those really sharp turns, especially like if you're like on mountains or whatever. She said, you are at the apex of a hairpin turn and the, the velocity of your movement is such that you can't afford a wrong move. So the velocity he was going in his life and the sharpness of the turn he was approaching was such that he had to be very intentional about how he was maneuvering and moving ahead. And I would give that to each and every one of you for the time that we're coming into. You are coming to the apex of a very sharp turn that is going to have to be made correctly or it can bring, be very, very devastating for you or at the very least delay your ability to move further into what God has for you. So how can you ensure and be ensure, assured to know that you're gonna make this turn correctly? Have faith and give time to the Holy Spirit who is the spirit of counsel and wisdom because he's going to show you what the turn is he's going to show you how to make the turn and when and he's going to lead you step by step into the process and support you in wisdom insight information clarity directives and instructions to ensure that you take this turn successfully thank you so much for watching today Hope you got something out of this video. Leave comments and questions down below. Let me know what you got out of the video. Be sure to share this video with someone that you know it will be helpful to. And don't forget to click the bell button so you're notified when I have new videos coming out. If you're not, if you're subscribed to the channel, if you're not subscribed to the channel, thank you for doing so, so we can get this message to more people. Enjoy the rest of your day. And remember to continue to live life learning.